Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you my June book haul. I picked up quite a few books in June all on one day because I saw that there was going to be a book signing with Angela Sylvain at Barnes & Noble by me. So I went and I met Angela Sylvain and I got a couple books signed that I have already reviewed. I'll link those reviews down below if you want to hear about the books. And I'm going to link Angela's Instagram down below so you can check her out. While I was at Barnes & Noble, I got a lot of books. Then when I got back to town, I went to my indie bookstore in my town and got these four big, big books. So let's look and see what I got. Starting with Barnes & Noble, I'm going to start with Angela's books. So I got Frostbite. I love that cover. So colorful. And The Dead Spot by Angela Sylvain. And they're signed with little notes. And I picked up all these little extra swag. This is uh, her logo, The Cheerful Goth. And then this one is for Frostbite. Little gopher. And a card for Chopping Spree, which is going to be re-released soon. This is her other book. And then two bookmarks, one for each book. So that was so cool. I've never been to like a live author signing. That's so cool. Other than like Comic-Con, stuff like that. Uh, this one, Frostbite, is a novel that takes place in the 90s. It's a science fiction horror, kind of. Uh, it has 19-year-old Raylene who sees something crash land behind her trailer park. And it's a comet, and there's something in the comet that gets loose in the town and causes a lot of problems. It seeps into the ground and infects the prairie dogs. Okay, and then The Dead Spot is her collection of short stories that I just recently finished. I really loved this collection. Then I looked around in the horror section of Barnes and Nobles and I found quite a bit there, they had a lot of good books in stock, which was awesome. So I picked up uh, Night Fires, one of their latest, or one I've especially had my eye on. That's Night's Edge by Liz Kieran. And this is the first book in a series. I believe it is Vampires. Yeah, and the second book just came out, so I guess this isn't their newest, right? The new book is First Light. And I picked up The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson. This is a reprint of a vintage horror book. It was also chosen for the Paperbacks from Hell line from <clears throat> Found Court. It's one that I've been meaning to read, and then I got a slasher. I've heard Kelsey from the Slime and Slashers talk about this book, Under the Blade by Matt Serafini. So I, when I saw it there, I was super excited to get a slasher book. And I got a really cool copy of Snow by Ronald Malfi. Looks like it's gonna be the perfect read for winter, maybe Christmas time. Oh yeah, it says it takes place during a blizzard on Christmas Eve, so yes, definitely around Christmas time. And another 
reprint of a vintage horror book. This one is Necroscope by Brian Lumley. I just was so impressed they had this really awesome big floppy paperback brand new copy of Necroscope. I've always been looking for the first book whenever I go looking at used books and I never find the first book. I find some others in the series, but yay! And that's everything I got at Barnes & Noble other than a white chocolate macadamia nut cold brew, which was delicious. Then I went home to my hometown and went to the indie bookstore and got a few books. First of which is a manga, Uzumaki by Junji Ito. And this is a horror manga about spirals. creepy spirals. Then I got the second book in the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson, Words of Radiance. I read the first book, The Way of Kings, so long ago and I need to keep, keep going because that book blew my mind and now I finally have a physical copy much more likely to read it now. And then the last two books I picked just because they are beautiful books. <laughs> I don't really know a lot about them. I think they are fantasy romance, but they are gorgeous. First one is Heaven Breaker by Sarah Wolf. Yeah, I told them I was just going to look around and see what caught my eye, and these ones certainly caught my eye. <laughs> the back says, I cannot stop death, but I can make it think twice. Stars burn, and so do I. You're so pretty. And the last book, also gorgeous, The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lind. Ooh. Got beautiful holly edges. Just a full artwork on the hardback. She broke the monster treaty and he'll make her pay. There are legends in our world, tales of beasts and beauties, creatures and stories that would keep you up at night, of monsters born and those stories you've heard come from a kernel of truth. Those are all the books that I picked up in June. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you think of them. Have you heard anything about some of these books I didn't know about? Like these two? <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll be back very soon with another book related video. Thanks. Bye.